I've got my four sprites that um, animate and do slightly different things, and, but it's all very quiet at the moment. So what I'm going to have a quick look at now is adding some sounds. Um, let's start off with the um, with the caterpillar sprite, making sure I've got the right sprite selected. And let me just get rid of that old comment over there. Um, one of the tabs is sound, and what we can do is first of all actually play some of the default sounds which is a cat meowing obviously not that appropriate if I click on the down arrow we've only got meow available at the moment but if I go over to sounds here you can see we've got the cat meow which if we don't really want it we could delete and then we've got an option we can choose a sound from the library and um, there's quite a few different options in here um, it may be that maybe there's not an appropriate sound for my my caterpillar but um, that will be okay for the moment so what I'll find now if I go back to scripts rather than playing the sound meow I can play beatbox one so every time now the caterpillars clicked it does something slightly interesting um, I could do that again for the strawberry let's make sure we've got the strawberry sp sprite clicked um, I'm going to go to sounds first of all this time. Let's get rid of the meow. Let's choose one from the library. Um, is Alien Creek? Nope. You see, we're struggling a little bit here for appropriate sounds related to munching a caterpillar munching a strawberry. But I think, to be honest, because it's um, it's a story, we'll put in the um, fairy dust one there. Let's go back to my scripts we're going to make it play sound fairy dust so let's see what happens that was on the apple that's okay it's reasonable and from the children's point of view they could be actually putting um, different sound effects onto different things from the library or what we're going to move on to have a li little look at next is to actually record our own sound and for this I'm actually going to put it onto the, the backdrop the stage um, we haven't really had a look at actually putting any code onto the, the stage as such yet, but in just the same way as we can put scripts on sprites, we can put scripts onto the background. And I think from an event point of view, I'm going to have it when the stage is clicked. Now, if you wanted to at this point, you could actually make an extra background, perhaps a night scene rather than a day scene. And the script could be when the stage is clicked, on looks, it goes to next backdrop you're animating the background but what I'm actually going to get it to do is it's going to play a sound whenever I click the stage and the sound that I'm going to use for this is let's get rid of the pop is that I'm actually going to record a new sound and um, if you're using scratch 2.0 on the, the web you're most likely going to get a little window asking you for permission um, hit allow and I'm going to allow it to use my microphone you can see I'm hopefully generating a bit of sound here it's actually recording right now which I didn't really want it to do never mind let's ditch that one let's start again record new sound here we go I'm just going to introduce the story the very hungry caterpillar by Eric Carl and there's my waveform. Um, you can see there's a couple of bits and pieces that you can um, that you can do in terms of effects. What I would recommend, if you um, if you haven't had a play with it, Audacity is completely free, and you can actually save your work from Audacity and then actually upload it from file in the Very Hungry Caterpillar. So, for example, you could call, record the class singing a song or similar, and then give it the children on your network drive to actually put straight into their their scratch recordings. Let's go back to the scripts now. It's not going to play the pop sound. It's going to play recording one. And let's just run my um, scratch project now in full screen. Hopefully it's got some animation. And if I click on the background. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. And my project's nearly at a stage where it's ready to try out on other children. <laughs> 